One of the things that gives me pleasure in life that is changing any Arch Linux based system out there and change it the way you want it. They call it rising. I use scripting to rise. So I have Arch Bang, I've cloned it, I launch it and I have a script that now is perfected and will also install chat WM, the one I'm using on the ISO builder, the ISO that builds all Linux ISOs. So we start off by the normal procedure, installation procedure, watch the other videos. And then we have this documents, Arclix Nemesis is already on here. It's just maybe not up to date. So I'm gonna git pull. One of the advantages of git clone is that afterwards you can do a git pull and the new code comes in from the internet. So yes, I made some different choices and that's the fun. You write it somewhere, put it online on GitHub in this case, and then you git pull it again and test and test and test. And that's really is, um, well, I enjoy this because it's analytics, it's thinking. It's also about timing things at the right moment, change things uh, at the right time. Otherwise you'll overwrite everything again. So once everything is set, all I need to do is dot slash zero tap enter and decide if I want JetWM or not, I'm going to say yes, because I'm going to default into it. So that's taken care of as well. You start with a distro based on Arch in this case, of course, but I've done the same in Linux Mint. I've done the same in Solos and uh, on Tergos back in the years, right? I had always a script that changes the default ISO that we get to something that you like less applications, more applications, other configurations, other choices. And that's Linux, right? That's Linux changing things the way you like it. So basically, um, watch the video one uh, number less in the, as this number here. And then you'll see that I go a little bit in the technicality. What did I do to achieve ArchBang uh, to, to be uh, the way I like it? Of course, it's a personal um, preference. You make your own scripts, you make your own preferences, you make your own choices, but the technicality is there. If this is then that, and if this then that thing is important. If we are on Ontergos, we do this. If we're on Archbank, we do this. And it's filled with these little scripts that's gonna say, look, I'm on Garuda, or on DevOS, Reborn OS, and so on. All the others are here. So basically I've added another one, Archbank, rearranged some timing timing things and written again a few codes extra code lines like for instance it now knows if it's on virtual box and that it should change it to 1920 2080 so by default open box will just pop up become bigger and chat wm will have the full uh, virtual box screen size 1920 and 1080 out of the box. It's these small little things that drive us that we analyze things and we say, okay, we need to have some environment, environment, environment variables. And we are setting them here and as well as here. So really sure, but also rising going from a Dwight dark, of course, to arc dark and so on and so on, right? So all kind of little changes and not, not that little here. We're gonna change the way and the, the, the start files, the boot files are compressed, except ZSTD. And if we're an open box, we do this and you do that. You add PyCam to the list, add PyCam to the open box out of start. So I have a transparent terminal, things like that, like this one, if, chat WM is installed, then you do this. You say, no, thank you very much. I don't want open box. And I do want the other one, exec chat WM. Conkeys we know are key bindings by Conky. These small things, that's the fun in life to make a perfect installation out of the box. Basically, this is unattended. We could walk away, come back after dinner, and it will be a clean install, the new uh, Linux kernels, new MESA, whatever, right? All the packages are new and you have your own desktop configuration application, 
setting anything goes right it's all there for you to change but why not script it why not do it manually start typing things while you could put it in a file and run the file and just walk away and drink a coffee so at this point in time we're still xz compressed as you can see but at the end we say oh we're on archbang so let's change where are we more or less should i pause probably not otherwise you don't see the change of the resolution you might miss it great mirrors bin is here some icons simple screen recorder spotify it's all choices i know that so you go change grab this Arcmax Nemesis from github.com, Eric Dubois, Arcmax Nemesis, get it, change it. One of the major things is start with a zero, right? Say you don't want any of these. If nothing will happen if you do all these like a hashtag in front of it, right? Then nothing will happen. Yeah, we're not working with the proper editor by, right? These have been installed already. And you just go change. If you put a hashtag in front of it, nothing will happen to it. Nothing will be installed. And this is already a good selection to think about it. What will I run? What file do I want? Because Bluetooth. Do I need Bluetooth on a virtual box? Don't think so. Neither printing, etc. etc. So you can decide what to do here already the current choices will i run this or will i not run all of that but make it your own right that's the point make it your own the technicality is there and the video i just made is reading is translating the code that was there to english there you go you have now 1920 1080 and it's all knowledge and that's what we do we share our knowledge for naught i might add so if you think this university is worth it start donating even if it is one euro a month it's appreciated everything costs money so let's reboot is it now perfect the way i want it of course this is normal right in the previous videos there is no sddm there is no lightdm we just say hi i'm eric and that's my password we boot up and there you go resolution is perfect super t Ooh, ugly Control alt enter and all the key bindings that work this works that works and off we go we're out again log out back to the login archbang login let's end with that often i do that let's end with a look like this neo fetch and here we have to type cat os release otherwise we have no idea what we're on it's archbang all right enjoy making scripts like these i want you really to find these videos and realize oh my god this is awesome this is quick this is fast that's the best way to install the system you like and love after a clean install don't start keeping home directories and stuff in there erase clean slate new packages your scripts on top of it that's for me the best way anyway and you think about it all right Cheers.